and welcome to another edition of Yoga with Esther, Sunshine Yoga, and this is a very sunny um, yoga practice today because we are going to be doing a five-minute introduction to uh, yoga for um, healthier sex. So it's something most of us do, and uh, I'm not ashamed of it, and um, it should feel good and make you happy. So, um, if like that's not your thing and you're like, mm, I have a headache, this is just a good, relaxing, five minute yoga exercise. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a down, or um, we're gonna start with child's pose. So make sure your hips are really open, toes, our heels come to hips and really stretch your hands out in front of you. You want to take it a little bit further, you can even come into puppy dog pose. Just warming up those hips. And you can bring forward and back for three, two, one, and move. guys to engage your pelvis here like as you inhale for your cat crunch and elongate your spine for your cow so inhale for four exhale three Come down for a plank pose. So I like to keep my um, hands intertwined and make a V. Feet about half deep parallel, half, uh, hip distance apart. We're going to stay here for 10 breaths. Nine, eight, seven. Come to sphinx or bring yourself to an upward dog for three, two, one, moving directly into your downward dog. For three, two, one, look in between your hands. Let's come into our butterfly pose. Getting those hips nice and ready. Or whatever you plan to do with them. Nice stretch. So we're going to take five breaths. Inhale your chest up with confidence. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Send your breath to your inner thighs. Exhale, let go of any resistance. Four. are going to come into, of course, our happy baby. So grab the outsides, insides of your feet, and you can rock from side to side or plant the sticks. Sucking in your belly, rocking for four, keep breathing, three, two, one. Bring your feet down. We're going to come directly into bridge pose. So bring your hips closer to your glutes. Lift the 
mat. Squeeze your glutes. Interlock your hands underneath. Now try and see what it feels like to let go of your glutes and just let your thighs stay open. You can do that a couple times. And slowly roll down. So, um, oh, I'm in straps up there. I'll just use this board. So you can do this nice, pretty stretch right here. If you are not that flexible, you can use anything, literally. Flex your foot towards your face. Keep this nice and long, and we're going to leave it here. So either quarter your finger, five, four, three, two, one, same leg, hug it into your armpit for four, three, two, and one, release. Bring both knees back, rock them from side to side. Same thing on the other side. Breathe for five, four, towards your armpit for four, three, two, one, and release. So our next pose is going to be a shoulder stand. By the way, you know, if you feel like you're crazy, <laughs> you can try some of these positions as, um, Positions. As such, you can do, you can try to do a back, a back bend. Mm. Okay, that was terrible. Don't do that. Okay, shoulder stand. Letting the blood. Flow to your pelvis. Four, three, two, one. You can come directly into a crown pose. Hit it for five, four, three, two, one. Rolling all the way down. Last thing to go is your feet. And gently roll to your side. Take a few really strong breaths here. And you know what? I don't care. You can just, you know, pay attention. You can touch yourself like, wow, these are great hips. And I have some nice curves and really, you know, Get some confidence. Get some confidence into you. Say, say self-affirming, confident words. Mm -hmm. And gently press yourself up to seated. And let's take our final breath together. Breaths. <laughs> breath. for joining me today. Namaste. I think one of the most awkward classes I ever did was Valentine's Day and I was like, you know, all my senior citizens, obviously we all have grandchildren, 
obviously you're getting a little head sex. So what's the big deal, you know? Like we should talk about but I'm gonna I'm gonna teach this class and I'm gonna have better sex and we're all just like <laughs> it's just a joint class, you know, with men and women and but guys we're like what and I mean thank goodness that they have so much love that they stayed with me. <laughs> um, you know, another way to have better sex is to keep eye contact with your partner. I know that sounds weird, but connection can be really important. And especially, especially, I'm saying this especially because women's sexuality has not been studied as much as men, and we all know this. But breathe. Breathe and focus on yourself. Focus on what feels good and try things out. Look at yourself in the mirror. I don't know. You know, like a lot of us have a lot of time on our hands. Um, so this would be the time to explore things with your partner in a safe and respectful way. I really hope my mom's not watching this right now. Anyway. I love you guys, and um, I hope you had a relaxing workout. Let me know if you have any questions, um, or not. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.